Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to upload any files into Laravel. Right, so this is a small video and in this video, I will going to show you any kind of file I want to upload using Laravel. Right, so first just go to the controller to upload any uh, files. So simply just uh, go and create controller, PHP artisan make controller suppose uh, my controller name is um, simple file upload controller okay no problem and just enter this a controller created successfully so if you just uh, go to the app http controller section you will get the file upload controller okay so this is my controller here actually i will create a function to render the view means from where we'll actually upload the file and another function to upload the file right so simply just create a function first so public function suppose my function name is um, open from okay so actually it's created to open the form from where we are uploading so simply write a return view and just create a view file suppose uh, write upload from okay so upload from and here let's create a form and actually this is a blade file so this is a view and just go here inside the resource just go to the view section uh, in the view section and just create a upload from dot blade dot php okay so just use the HTML boiler template and here write file upload and just a design a basic design actually i'm not going to uh, discuss about the design part so simply uh, just inside the h2 tag and here write file upload and let's see how it's appearing so just uh, serve the application php artisan serve and if i now just going to call this uh, function then it will load and to call this function we simply just go to the routes and create a link so simply just go routes web.php and here just call the file upload controller so simply app http controllers so simply just use that use app http controllers slash my class name that is file upload controller so simply paste this and now just uh, call this function so simply create a routes so actually these are created in my previous video we are actually discussing about laravel 9 full tutorial this so, link are provided in the description section so if you want to check my previous video you can check from there also so i just want to create a link suppose uh, write upload from and uh, just call a controller colon class and the function name what is the function name actually this is my function name okay so let's go to this link and let's see whether my file is rendering or not so now just go here and paste this here so it's file upload that means it's appearing great right now just create a form to upload any file so simply just use from and here we need to add some things means uh, we just need to upload the methods means in which type of or which method actually from will submit so for my case i will use post actually to submit in from uh, you should use post this is a good practice and uh, to upload any files you should have a, a link from from that link i will upload and another thing we need to save the encryption type right to upload any files we need to use uh, multi-part from data right and in laravel if you want to submit any request we need to use the csrf actually it will validate the token means uh, using that you will generate a token so if you just go here and refresh and inspect this you can see a token is generated so inside the form you can see these are generated right so this is actually the token it is responsible for csrf and actually it will validate uh, routes internally so that from outside they cannot accept any request okay so this is the basic part now just i'm going to uh, use uh, suppose select file this is my label and i just uh, going to simply enter the line and uh, just create input type file type 
so input type and here I need a file type input so input type file and I can set some name suppose uh, name is file and I can set um, any ID also so no need of this but uh, you can set and uh, obviously all things are done now uh, just uh, create a button to um, submit the form so input type uh, sorry input type um, submit and the value will be uh, suppose upload okay this okay now just go here and let's refresh so we are getting file upload the select file we can browse my files so you can browse any files like in this way and when we actually browse we need to hit some url so let's create a action url so simply uh, just create another route so simply just uh, call our url first suppose uh, my url is anything that is upload file okay so this is the url actually and i had to create a url in this route also so this is the route and this time it will be actually the post type of request actually using the post method here so the method is post so now just using the post and let's create that url upload file and let's call the file con upload controller and colon colon class actually this is a scope of the resolution operator and let's call a function and that is upload file right and we need to create uh, this upload file here so that we can hit that public function upload file and here when we just submit this we are getting some request so that we need a request so we we'll simply write a request dollar request so now if i just uh, click from upload it will hit that url so simply i uh, just write um, written here right so let's see whether it's coming or not just go to the browser and let's select any image so suppose i am selecting this image and click on upload we are getting here that means we are from here now simply if i just want to upload any files suppose i want to upload files into my public folder so if you just uh, go to the uh, storage and inside the storage you have app and this is the public folder suppose if i want to upload in this folder simply uh, just to write in this way so simply write so first let's see what actually we are getting uh, here means if I just uh, do DD means uh, die and definition so let's see what we are actually getting so simply uh, just to refresh this and uh, resend so actually we are getting this kind of data right so these are the data and here inside this section inside this file section we are getting one array and inside the array we are getting all the file related information uh, like the original name the mime type and error if any error then it will show the error and uh, the size and all the things we are getting right so i will not discuss about these things in this video actually i am just going to upload these things suppose uh, to upload anything so we have a request parameter and inside the request to have files so simply let's call this file and uh, here and just uh, i want to move or i want to store in laravel if you use the store function it will directly store to that directory so i just set here public right now uh, simply i just uh, return uh, file upload it to the directory okay now just uh, go back and uh, let's test again so simply uh, refresh this and here and just uh, click on this and suppose uh, i'm going to upload this image okay and click on upload file uploaded to the directory so if you just go here we can see a new file is uploaded okay so this is the file and actually this is the original things is uploaded means whatever actually the file resolution was 
or are updated now and if you want to upload another type of file not only image so simply just to go here and uh, let's go to this picture section so here we'll get lost of here we get lots of things so i need something different suppose uh, i want to upload any things uh, other than image so just go to the documents suppose i am going to upload this txt file so simply just open this and upload still it will upload means if you just go to the directory you will get these things i am not going to open that things actually this is my login credential so i am just not going to open this but these are uploaded right so let's uh, see another means uh, suppose i am going to upload this garbage.txt so simply just uh, go to the desktop and open this that is a recommend doc okay so i'm just going to upload this so upload it's uploaded now if i just uh, go to my directory you can see these domains all kind of file you can upload through this store method and inside here suppose if i just going to upload in another directory means this is the public suppose uh, create inside the public we have image directory and now if i just going to upload anything it will upload into the image folder right so simply just go here and uh, let's open some wallpaper and i just selecting this and click on open and it will actually upload inside this image folder right so in this way we can upload any file in laravel so hope you can understand and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in the below comment section next day we are going to discuss about some interesting thing means i am going to discuss about in deep of that things I means suppose if i want to upload some image which actually you can see there is a large image but i need some image which is small or i want to recite that image so how we can do this so simply we can do this in laravel also so next we are going to discuss about that things so please like and subscribe this channel for our upcoming video and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye